there, Golf Freak here, and welcome to my fourth Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization V. I want to tell you guys some new stuff that's going to be happening. Uh, first off, hopefully, if I do this correctly, uh, this will not be in like 15 minute uh, video increments. This will be in session, uh, which lengths will vary from 30 to an hour depending on, on how long I can do it. So that'll be how long the video is. Uh, second, uh, I usually play about an hour ahead of time so that I can have time to process videos and get them up on a regular basis. However, I won't be doing that because I'm going to, by doing it all in one big video file and compressing it way down overnight, uh, I hopefully will be able to post that single video up with uh, no problems. And it will uh, be up before I start playing again. So if you guys want to inject or tell me something like what I what, what you would like to see me do or to do something there something that I may have missed you go ahead and let me know and uh, and the final thing is it should be in HD that will be awesome but anyway let's get down to it uh, after my last game I asked you guys what you would uh, like to see and uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Mersharak's Mersharak is probably horribly butchered how it's supposed to be pronounced but Anyway, and uh, his idea, he was the first to comment, and his idea was the best in my mind. So we're going to set up the game. We are going to play as Japan going for a domination victory. Um, the other option was playing as Alexander of Greece for a uh, diplomatic, and that's a possibility in the future, but I already have a diplomatic victory, so I really want to try to get a domination so we're going to go ahead and hit Japan, and it's going to be on a Pangea map on a standard size. Uh, difficulty level is Prince, and gate pace is standard. Advanced setup. What? I'm just going to keep this as it were. This might have been different. It might have been 12 city states. I don't exactly remember. But Pangea, advanced size standard, difficulty Prince. Game era is ancient. 4 billion years. Temperature is going to be hot. Rainfall is going to be wet. Sea level is going to be low. Resources are going to be at legendary start. So this will be fun. And then down at... Uh, we're going to keep all these on just in case like last time I'm not able to do it. I need to pull off some other kind of victory. But we're going to have a lot of promotion saving and a lot of policy saving. And we are also going to want... Quick combat, for faster combat of course, raging barbarians and random personalities. So this is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm just going to double check make sure to see if I missed anything. No, I think I've got everything. So let's begin. Blessings upon you, noble Odo Nobunaga, ruler of the land where the sun rises. May you long walk among its flowering blossoms. You are the ruler of Japan, the land of the rising sun. The Japanese are an island people, proud and pious with a rich culture of arts and letters. Your civilization stretches back thousands of years, years of bloody warfare, expansion and isolation, great wealth and great poverty. In addition to their prowess on the field of battle, your people are also immensely industrious, and their technological innovation and mighty factories are the envy of lesser people everywhere. Legendary Daimo. Will you grab the reins of destiny? Will you bring your family and people honor and glory? Will you once again pick up sword and shield and march to triumph? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? All right, let's begin. And here we go. And let's see, resource icons. While that's not quite what I had in mind by legendary resources, we have lots of bananas. So this, this, my home city is going to grow like a weed. We do have sugar, which is also very nice. And, oh, I have marble. Yes! And I'm by a river, and I'm by a mountain. Oh, that is so nice. So we will go up here. And I'm right by the ocean. And wine. This is quite the start, and that's because I chose it. But, okay. So first things first, uh, we have Raging Barbarian, so that's something to keep in mind. I am going to start out with a Scout, and then we're just going to go into the queue real quick. And show queue, uh, add to queue, we're going to go ahead and queue up a Warrior, and then a Worker, and then we'll go see how it uh, goes from there. 
And we're going to keep... Uh, we need a warrior at every city, at least for the first part, because of the barbarians. Alright, so we have... Uh, we need calendar really, really quickly, because we have all the stuff around here. We don't need to worry about it too fast, however, because we have a... Uh, we have some time before the uh, unit pops, but my cities are going to grow very, very quickly. And we also need masonry to get the marble and clear out the marsh. And we... it's a jungle, which we need mining, I think, to get rid of, or do we need... no, forest. We need... I think bronze working. So we're going to open the tech tree, and we're going to try to rush that. But we are more food-based, we're not going to be very high production, but we want... Yeah, we want to remove the jungle. So, animal hesitancy would be good to pop first. Because I have time before I'm going to get my uh, units. So we're going to get animal husbandry first. And then we're going to get uh, bronze working. And then masonry. And then archery. And then all the resources that come with that. And hopefully we will uh, be set... So let's go next turn. So it's going to be quite interesting. I think because I chose a hot climate and a wet rainfall, there's going to be a lot of desert, but there's also going to be a lot of rivers, and along those rivers there's going to be a lot of like stuff like this. Lots of uh, grassland and forest and stuff. So we need to find... Oh, we found some ruins and more marble. So this is probably right where I have my workers at. Would not be a bad idea to go uh, for more like wonder production because we, we would like to pump out a lot, of, a lot of wonders to save production so that I can more easily build units. But there's not a lot of food in this area. We do have the sheep, which will help, and the uh, deer, which would be amazing as well. And let's go get that ruin. And we get a map. Well, that's not quite what I want, but okay. And this Pangea map is really, really snaky. But we found a barbarian encampment, so we'll probably go take that out. Hopefully, if the barbarians aren't too rowdy. Because it'll be different uh, dealing with them this way. And getting a nice amount of gold, and my city grew... And my science, so if I want my cities to be quite large, and because of my start, I'll have three luxury resources just by this one city, and I need to look out for more. But because of that, I'll be doing well. So, yeah, and I'm going to do this, even though it's like a six to... F it'll be damaging six to taking five, but because of Bushido, they won't be able to defeat me if I attack again. And, oh, that's actually really nice having quick combat, because that'll, that'll save so much time. So, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, next turn. And decisive victory, and I will survive. Very nice. Uh, we will need to heal, though. And my scout is done. After this turn finally clicks. And my unit can be promoted. Um, I don't want to heal you, because, you know, I'd rather get the uh, promotion. So we'll get shock. And you can fortify until healed there. And we're going to go ahead and send my scout this way. I, guess I, I kept my scout... Uh, I sent my warrior down because I saw all this stuff up here. And I figured he'd barely be able to move. So my scout would be more able to uh, move easier. Anyway, so we're building a warrior next. So hopefully Kyoto will get to a good, good size before it starts... Before I have to build a uh, settler unit. And more wine. And silk. Ooh, there we go. Another luxury resource. We want to claim... As much land as possible for a domination victory, so that we can. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. So that we can uh, more easily pump out a ton of military units, as well as get access to lots of resources that can later be used uh, for military purposes or for luxury resources that will help if we take a ton of cities. Which I probably will raise if they don't have anything special, and then plant my own cities there to uh, help my happiness. Let's see what we got. And we got 30 culture. Alright, so we can adopt a policy next turn. And you can still move. We'll have you go up here. And there's more 
silk over there and I probably want to put my city right here to get access to all the resources I can. So we'll go ahead and send you up this way. And adopt a policy. Alright, so we definitely want to go down honor. But I really do want to get as many cities out as I can and this will help my production. However, tradition might help me even more even though I'm not planning to have a large empire because it'll help the capital city. Oligarchy will be great. And aristocracy would be good too. And culture cost of border expansion is reduced to two thirds. That would be great. Plus one gold for every two citizens in the capital. That would be good too. So that would all be great, except it's not enough, I think. And we definitely do want honor. So what we will do is hit this first liberty, I think. And then probably ignore liberty. Just so that we can get a, uh... Actually, no. I can save. So we don't... This is interesting, because I don't need liberty, because I'm not planning to build this... Which one would be more effective immediately? The honor? I think this would be more effective immediately, because of barbarians. So we'll go ahead and just take that. Also, give me a good heads up, because I do want to look around um, my city with that other warrior I'm making, instead of just keeping him in the city. At least until my worker gets built. Oh! And we met Uzeton. Uh, goodbye, we see you seek peaceful alliance. Yeah, you're China. I doubt that, being Japan. But okay, we'll see how it goes. And, uh... Got a higher score than me, darn it. Oh, she's down here. So, I might want to just... I don't know. Because there's not a lot of separation of resources. Look, there's more silk up here. and there's But there's horses up there. Do I have horses around me? I might over here. But I definitely want a horse resource. And we probably want one more city here. In that area so that I, they block uh, Kyoto or the, the capital straight from an invasion from China. The meek shall inherit the earth, but not its mineral rights. Alright, so we got that done so that we can uh, chop down forests. And have my other warrior down here who will not be able to move there. That's a bummer. We'll have a move here first. It's just going to be difficult finding good city placements. And I really don't like how the Pangea map isn't so much of a Pangea. It's more like a really snaky continent. Although that would be cool if this was an inland sea. That would help uh, a lot with uh, like taking over stuff because they can build a decent navy too. There's more silk over there. There does not appear to be a lot of other luxury resources, at least over here. And, okay, that warrior is done, so work has now begun on a worker. And we're going to have this worker in the general vicinity of my city. I just want to take a look over here and the other direction as well. But production is going to be really difficult in this city, I think, because it's only, like, food and happiness, luxury resources. Hopefully we got access to some good uh, strategic resources. And more wine. I really don't like how much there is. Look, there's more over here, too. That's going to be a bit of a bummer. Barbarian encampment discovered. Yeah, it just spawned in right there. I have no units over there, so we'll f we'll, we'll see if we can deal with that later. Ooh, actually, this might not be a bad place, even though it's a f long distance from my capital. Um, it might be not a bad idea to build a harbor instead of a road all the way down here if I put a city right around here. But once again, not a lot of luxury resources. And uh, we have met Lord Rakahakman, which I am, which is 
totally mis... No, it's whatever. And... Oh, we met Tyre. Who is militaristic. Ooh, and they have pearls. That's very good. More wine. Jeez Louise, so much wine. And then here, he's up here. Okay, so... Ooh, 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 I might... Actually, I kind of like how that's turning out. So I can block the... City right here would be really nice. Right where that barbarian encampment is. Actually, yeah, right around where this barbarian encampment is so I can get access to the fish and the silks and the horse. So I'll probably want, like, one harbor and one sea unit so that I can see, uh, like, a trade route or something. I really hope... No, if it's an inland sea... That'll be interesting. We'll go ahead and have you come over here. And a barbarian encampment has been discovered here. Because of getting the honor branch. It's actually very, very nice. More barbarians. Okay. Oh, ruins. <laughs> Lucky we they got th we got there before they did. And actually, this might be connected right here. Instead of this, it might be like an inland sea and an inland two inland seas or something. That'd be interesting. And okay, so you are. Then looking over there, you're going to have you sweep back over here. Figure this out. And we've got... See, I'm at full health. And they've got weakened barbarians over there. So there might be an encampment around here. Oh, there it is. Right there. So we'll see how that goes. But we'll, we're going to hit this. And, oh, we got uh, a population increase. And it's good and bad because my happiness is hitting the dumps. So we're going to need calendar really quickly. To actually masonry, I might buy this tile once I get that, but we'll see after I get to all my tech setup that I already queued up. Yeah, this is connected, so this is an inland sea right here, not a very large one. So then, a par probably a better space would be right on this desert tile, because I have access to both. And if you can put naval units in cities, then I can use that as like a gate for my ships, which would be really nice. And I think you can put them in cities. But anyway. Oh, so we attack these guys. We're going to get a minor defeat. I have a huge bonus versus barbarians too. So they're just really in there. So we're... We're going to attack. And we met Venice. It was a maritime civ or city-state. And the reason we attacked is because if they attack me, they're more likely to die. See, here's a stalemate. We're both die. So it'll be a chance that... Uh, you know, nothing too major will happen. But anyway, we're done looking this way with my scouts. I've already found out where the nearest one is. I don't want to settle too close to his cities. But we probably want access to this marble really quickly. Here Hector enters. With a spear 11 cubits long in his hand, the bronze point gleamed in front of him and was fastened to the shaft of the spear by a ring of gold. Alright, so we have bronze working, and oh my gosh, I'm being surrounded by barbarians. So we want to move into the tree so I have a better chance against these guys if they attack. I might lose that warrior, but that's okay. I have don't really need him too much. Ah, and we met a uh, Hiawatha of the Iroquois. I have yet to meet you. First time I think I've had him in game. I'm not sure. I don't recognize him. And he's over here somewhere. So, the way it looks... And my unit was killed. Oh, that's a bummer. The way it looks, I'm going to have to just spread to the right. And I've got good research, which is very nice. I want to spread to the right first because that's going to be the... Uh, the most abundant and I think resources and good city states and that's also they're probably going to be the closest to me Kyoto is going to be 
quite large. Oh, and they attacked. Ugh. I don't want to lose my scout. Hey, we're going to run into Tyre real quick and take him off. More bananas. Yeah, I'm fully aware I'm trespassing over here. We're going to leave immediately. And found that. Okay, next turn. Take a look. I'm going to see if I get a boost in production at all. Like Kyoto. It's a really terrible production. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. And the food is kind of low, but it's okay. Yeah, you can move there. The barbarian shouldn't be there. More bananas, so I'll have large cities if I want them there. And we're going to go ahead and send you back to the near the city. I'm going to throw my scout into the city and heal him up really fast first. But he'll be able to more quickly uh, traverse the uh, terrain than you will. And... And they're in the classical era. Oh, that's just great. How happy are those whose walls already rise? All right, so we should have all the texts we need for uh, for this, and I'm just getting archery to heal up or to get like a better military going. And we're going to get. And there are the barbarians I was so worried about. That's why you have to be really careful on a harder difficulty or raging barbarians. So we're going to send him out over here. And he's going to clear that marsh after he's done. We're going to have my warrior move here. And we finish that worker. And I could build the pyramids. And worker construction speed increased. That is incredible. That is incredible. So you know what we're actually going to do? So I don't have a lot of happiness, so we're going to do this. And what we're going to do as well is we're going to actually buy... Yeah, we're going to buy the marble. And as soon as I get rid of this uh, warrior here, I'm going to just take my worker off and immediately go for the marble. And that will increase the wonder production capabilities as well as give me some happiness for the next time. And that will be amazing to help my uh, troops out a little bit. So they ran that way. They're still in range, thank goodness. And take them out. Gotta try. I think I will be able to on the front land. Oh, decisive victory. Three damage, that's nothing. So we'll have you come over here. So it'll be a little bit before you can work on it, but it'll be worth it. And we'll have my warriors to protect them. And oops. Oof. Next time you need to move. Oh, and there's warrior there's warriors up here. Ugh. Actually, I think my warriors should just go in the city. And you get to the marble. So we really need that mar marble worked on. And you just work your way back to the city. And my scout will uh, go scout out the uh, area up to the right where I probably will want to settle first. And yep, here they are. The half of the arrow had been and we have archery. So you know what we're going to do, actually? I'm going to see if I have enough. Uh, purchase. Scouts, 140. No, 310. I have nowhere near enough, so we're not even going to bother. And ugh, they have green galleys. Wow! And we're going to have you go in the city. And my scouts keep on going. I finished archery, so we're going to go on our next... Uh, Next one. So, ironworking might not be bad, but... See, what would be relevant to what I'm needing? Well, I riding would be good, but a water mill would be really good, actually. Costs a little bit of money to maintain, but it give me some food and production so my city can get really nice and plump, because I can. So it'll be nine turns for this core to be built, so hopefully that'll cut down my... Uh, the pyramid construction time, too. And they're all in the classical era, so I'm getting a really, really slow start, because I'm doing this. But I really want the pyramids because that'll really be able to help what I have. But and we meet Florence. Who's what are they? Cultured and they're friendly. Cool. 
So we're going to range these barbarians. Four damage. Uh, you're totally weak enough to take out. Cool. And there are more people in the uh, classical era. I wonder if they're string shotting. Anyway, so this unit gets promoted. We're going to get him a drill because there's a lot of rough terrain in the area. And have him just go back to my city. And here we have lots of barbarians. Holy cow. Uh, we're going to have you go down this way. And there's ocean down there. Okay, so there's probably nothing over here, but I'll take a look at it anyway. Ooh, more galleys. Interesting. And there's wine, fish, nothing special. There's really a lot of the same resources in the area, which isn't really that good. But here we have these galleons, so I don't think they can attack my workers, which is fine. And we do find a barking camp. Oh, right there. So this is where it's spawning from. So I think a navy wouldn't be a bad idea. I just need a sea city. So maybe right here? I think I'll have enough happiness once I get the access to all my resources to uh, be okay. And we're going to have my warrior actually come on here. Because actually I want them to uh, bombard him. Because then he'll get some XP. And I can level him up a lot too, which would be really nice. And you want a declaration of friendship? Sure, we're going to do this for now. Probably won't go for him first anyways. And I'm doing this to... Uh, try to maintain, you know, friendly relations. Also, I'm starting out kind of slow. So, we will see how this all goes. So I can adopt another policy. I'm actually tempted to go into tradition now that I'm building wonders, but I can't get this one first anyway. So we're gonna get, uh... We're gonna go ahead and get, you know, let's see, 50%. Well, let's take a, let's take a look. How long would it take me to build a settler? 10 turns. So cut 5 turns, but I don't really gonna I'm not really gonna go into liberty at all for the policy tree. So it is kind of pointless. So maybe we just leave liberty alone. And the question is, are these going to be enough to That wouldn't be bad in the capital, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab Warrior Code because I want military tradition so I can get like better units. And so we have the great general who will go into the city and the warrior who will go over here and attempt to get protect him and hopefully maybe get bombarded maybe wisdom and virtue are like the two wheels of a car okay so we now have the wheel and we'll just have you patent Really? Okay. Sleep. And I have less production now? How does that work? Um, what if we put you on a production focus? Will that help you? Less gold and 20 turns instead of 30 turns for half the gold? No, barely any difference in gold. Yeah, I'll have you production focus. That'll really help. And this doesn't really harm the other stats that much either. Yeah, and hopefully that mine will be done in a minute. So now, what is going to be relevant? Ironworking. Because we want catapults, but we really, really want that. But first... I don't really like shooting too far away from other techs. We're going to try to play a little bit scientific at first. And actually, I would really, really like Stonehenge if I can get it. Because that'll help me out. And we can build plantations. Yeah. So actually we kind of need calendar. And then we'll grab writing after calendar. And the great library has already been built. So someone's doing really well for themselves. And my warrior is going to go on alert. And hopefully get bombarded, get a little bit of XP. We'll hopefully get access to this uh, mine rather quickly. I just realized I couldn't have gotten that cotton even if I wanted to. Horses! Okay, yeah, we're moving up this way because they have spices and horses. So 
But actually, before I mess this up any further, we're going to add to Q a Spearman. And we're going to move him before the Settler. Because I really don't want to lose my Settler, and I really don't want to leave a city unguarded. So just fortify until healed. And, nice, my happiness is good. And the enemy has been spotted. Is that just that? Yeah, it's just a ship. So I'm just getting some XP out of this. And my scouts, you're going to go ahead and, and heal. And we're going to have... So let's see, I'm just going to double check here. i got to go on the city screen. And... Uh, wonder modifier for the periods, yeah, plus 25%. So it's a, it does it in three quarters of the time, which is a big, big bonus for any other wonders I want to do as well. Hopefully I can get this done, because that will... In Greatly pre increase the the efficiency of my. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? What make it? Sieve. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and we want the mine here because we really, really do want more production in the city. And Tyre is under attack by barbarians. Eh, what the hey? Well, actually, we should probably go clear out that encampment, huh? Advance wants to annoy the they tire tires near camp. It's getting demands gems, and I have not seen any gems, so good luck with that. And we're gonna go ahead and have him heal up before he moves out any farther. And my scout is healed, so we're gonna go up and see how close I can move. Oh, barbarian encampment. Thinking right. Actually, one. Ah, that's a long ways. Even though I would like this, it's an inland city. Who cares? Actually, right here. Spices. Silks, horses, bananas. I think that's probably the best location. My warrior's healed, so we're going to go ahead and move over here. Which will take a while because of all the stuff. And my scout is in no position to attack that, so we're just going to go ahead and move this way. Florence wants to get rid of barbarian encampments. Yeah, I'll do that after I build all my stuff. Okay, next turn. Actually, it's well fed people. Oh, there he is. So I really, really want to settle really close to him because I really like that land over there. And we're going to go ahead and send my great general up with these guys because I could use a little bit of help, I think. Yeah, I really like this area over here, right here. So, I should settle. And he has, already has two cities, it looks like, so I really need to pick that up, I think. And they're getting bombarded by the city, I think. Oh, okay, please don't move, my general. Okay. You're cool. And you get the bonus. Yeah, we'll have you take out these warriors. Some XP out of that, very nice. And my scout can move over here. Holy cow, lots of barbarians. And they have a worker. Ooh, that could be interesting. Three turns, come on. Pyramids. Oh, and you're taking damage from a galley. Okay, you know what we'll do? We will have you get survivalism, and you'll just heal. Just stay there, have fun. And I don't know if I can build a plantation until next turn, which is actually fine. And we want more happiness, because I'm going to be building a, uh, another city in a second. And can I kill this thing off? Decisive victory, and the great general is near, so yes. And I really desperately need to heal up um, my warrior now. He's done a lot. And that's it, your Qua Scout. So teach us to number our days, so that we may apply our hearts unto... Alright, so can I take this thing out? Decisive victory? Ooh, yeah. I should survive. Nice. 
And now we're now friends with Tyre. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, send my uh, very general back near the city because my worker's there right now. And send my work my warrior back because I kind of don't want to lose him. I kind of think I'm having a slow start because I have no production. Nice. Let not the pains of death would come upon thee enter into my body. I am the god Tim, and I am in the foremost part of the sky, and the power which protecteth me is that which is with all the gods forever. Alright, so worker construction has been increased by 50%. So this will greatly help uh, my guys and what they're going to be doing. So medic, all units just tell us one extra return. It's kind of useless for this one in particular. We're going to go ahead and get uh, rough terrain 2. And we're going to have you rush back to the city before you get killed. And build a plantation. And that'll give me some more food and some more gold. And how long will this take? Two turns to clear out of Mars. So it'll take four... Yeah, so this will just incredibly help my uh, efficiency for my workers and such. Just by... I mean, 50%. It'll, my cities will be probably be doing a lot better... Be a lot better off than they were if I didn't get it. And we got to hope that... Uh, Hope that I can, you know, be okay. And also, if I if my workers work 50% faster, it means I need less of them as well. And I really desperately need to get this stuff out and on the move. I need to get that city up for the Iroquois settle out because they like to settle out really quickly. And I want to see how long this will take. Wow, that's so fast. He who destroys. He destroys a good book, destroys reason itself, just in case, because I was really excited and I went right through it. But we want iron working, but what should we get first? What would be great? Uh, any special buildings? I guess math. Oh, we want need iron working before that, so I guess we're going to have to do that. Florence is under attack. I'm, I feel sorry for you. No, really, I do. Alright, so you've already finished that. Oh, so nice. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna build plantations like nobody's business. And Kyoto's gonna be quite large. And we're gonna go ahead and send my spearmen out, and we're gonna take care of any barbarians that may be in this area. So I really like that city location. Eight turns, so it normally takes it take sixteen turns before that. So that's a that's just so nice. And Tyre's giving us a unit. All oh, right, be an archer, and it is. Heck yes. And we're gonna go ahead and send you up here as well because I have a feeling the Iroquois are gonna be kind of ticked off that we're doing what we're doing. And survivalism 2, plus 50% defense. Ooh, that's really nice. And we'll just go ahead and have you heal up continuously. And you'll just keep on getting uh, XP bef until uh, my little band of troops can get over there. Yeah, sure, we'll be friends. Until I turn on you. Hee 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 hee. All right. Then after ironworking, we're probably going to focus towards science. And you want open borders? And you have no luxury resources, but I only have... Nah, we're not going to do that. Everybody's friendly. Uh, this is going to be absolutely terrible. Minor victory, okay. So we're going to wait till my archers... Ah, and we might get them, get them to attack me as well. That was actually kind of smart. We might gonna wait. Might wait until my archers get up to this area, which won't be for a while. Yeah, we're friends. Everybody's friendly. So I guess China's kind of on her own, unless I really take off the Iroquois. And I guess they ran. Looks like it. Yeah. So I'm just kind of just teasing them, see if they'll attack me. I 
I really like this location. The question is, what should I, where should I focus it on? Yeah, I will go ahead and since you guys are running, and these warriors shouldn't be a problem because I'll still win after even after that. Ooh, and that's a smart move. We're going to go ahead and start healing up a little bit because I don't want to attack them and then automatically get attacked by these barbarians and lose my spearmen. Okay, now the question is do I want to build a road yet? I don't think so. I'm just going to continue because I have so much. Uh, so many bananas over here I need to work and get some food from those tiles that I think I'm just going to keep them there. I might build another worker in my in Kyoto before, but who knows. Okay, build a plantation. Turns. It's so nice. And it actually gets, pro actually gets production. Oh. Okay, so once we put a city there, that's too close for comfort for my other city. I like... This location the most. So I'll have immediate access to two, at least two horses, and I'll be three out from that banana and three out from the deer, and I'll be farther away from the Iroquois. Uh, choose production. I finished the settler. Worker would be good. Library would actually be good too, but I think a water mill so that we can get more production and more food in. So that we can get a, a, you know, higher production and higher stuff in the city. And then once I once I get uh, like a library or something, it'll be really really effective. And all right, so we can range these guys and finish off this spearman. And rough terrain. And we're going to have you move down because you're going to do fine against these guys after next turn. Because I'll be able to range them twice before then. Ooh, minus six? <whistles> well, that was a loud whistle. Dang, that was powerful. I hope that's iron right there. And I really hope there's like aluminum or oil over here. And they just spawned a spearman. Ugh. Okay. Range the spearman then. And... Can I... I have how much health? Seven hit points. Taking two. Taking three. So I'll survive. I should survive. Yeah, and I'm in rough terrain too, so I'll be fine. And we have met the Inca. So I, it's really gonna be tough for me to play this because I don't know how like what their personalities are at all. So generally, like yeah, the Iroquois and the Incas are like very, very. Uh, Do not wait to strike till the iron is hot, but make it hot by striking. The king's might is greater than human, and is. Yes. Okay. Any iron around here? Doesn't look like it. So he's also down there, so it looks like he's gonna have some fun with China. If they kind of like are rushing. Oh, look at that. He put a city there. Uh, I'm so glad I, I got that worker out here fast. Yeah, once we put it there, there. Actually. Uh, here, one, two, three. I'll have access to the silk. So an extra silk resource would be good. There's no extra luxury resources to the right. So I'll actually do that. And we're going to range him first. And then finish him. Very, very nice. And they lost their encampment. So hopefully the scout... If they attack, the scout will be able to take them out. Because I can't go in their borders or anything. 
So we just got iron working, and actually, before I find another tech, actually, I'll go ahead and find a tech. Uh, trading post. We need might need some coin, and then or trapping. So we get trapping. Is there any iron over here? I'm like iron deprived. Up oh, right here. There we go. So a city right here, and it's only two. Really? Is there iron. Oh, there's iron down here. How much is this? Six iron. Okay, we're settling down here, and we're going to settle. I think right on this tile because I'll have access to. The iron, the wheat, and the marble. So that'll be our next place, because we want to get that uh, iron before someone else claims it. And he wants open borders. Sorry. And they took it back. Oh, that's a bummer. And they had a barbarian encampment spawn right there. And the city's going here. And we're gonna have my archer move down here because we're gonna we're gonna need him to help uh, ward off those barbarians. And we desperately need my spearman into the city because he's really really weak right now. And the question is, what's a build? Well, I kind of want to build a worker, but that's a long time. But we're going to do it anyway. It won't affect the growth rate. And I really want to focus on more important stuff down here. Um, our apologies. We're not settling near you again. That'll be the closest we get. We might settle another city around here. And the reason I'm, I put my city so far away from the horses is just for the sea, but also, I mean, there's only two horses, it's not going to be worth too much. We... Oh, range the ship, get some XP. And actually, you cannot range them, can you, because of this. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, we'll wait till my spearman heals up, and then we'll both we'll have them both move up. And you can be promoted to get the rough terrain because you're terrible in rough terrain, and you cannot attack them. So we'll just have you do nothing. And yeah, just keep on building plantations. And I'm not sure, but if cities are connected, these might affect. But yeah, these have actually quite decent production now. If that's what they give. Gosh, I kind of felt for a little bit better than this because I don't have a lot of military resources. Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets twice. Uh, do nothing. Choose research. Um, I think workshop would be the best one, but that's so expensive. We're going to go ahead and grab philosophy. Maybe get some more culture going. Uh, refuse. Who's Aton has entered the medieval era? They're moving fast. Turn. And you're fully healed. Okay, we're gonna have you to switch then. And uh, you can still move, so don't. Doesn't really matter. We're moving that square anyway. We're going to move these guys up. Mm, 
minor victory, so we're going to wait until my archers can do some damage first. And we finished the water mill, so I'm, my city is going to be growing quite nicely. And we should build something. What should we build? Oh, Stonehenge is only nine turns. And the Great Engineer points plus eight culture. Nine turns. That's amazing, actually. And you're weak. You're probably being bombarded, aren't you? So we'll just have you heal. Florence desires Stonehenge. Ooh. Look at that timing. Perfect. And decisive victory. really care about this land over here. I might throw one more city here, but I'm really near Florence, so not really much of a point. I am so far below, actually. I said not point-wise, but I feel like tech-wise I'm falling way behind. Okay, my spearman was damaged. Medic. Not really a big deal. We'll get... Rough terrain. Have you heal? And then we'll have. Actually, how much? How much health do you have? Not a lot. Hopefully, they'll be able to take me out. Which would be a real bummer. I might, might have wanted to heal him instead. And you've got one more plantation you need to build. And I can adopt a policy. And, yeah, we will be getting military tradition so I can have better military units. Yeah, I'm not really a good person to play for a domination victory. It's never been my style. So, we'll see. And you might be wondering, well, why are you doing all this stuff? You're going for a domination victory. Well, the thing is, is that... Oh, that's so much damage. The, the stronger you are in everything, the more likely you will be to own everybody. You just be overall powerful. And build a plantation. And you get in the city since you're not being attacked, thankfully. And actually, how much health do you have? So you lost four in the two turns that they attacked you. Yeah, we'll go ahead and attack them anyway. Get some XP out of that. Very nice. And yeah, you're attacking a friend, Kelly. There is only one good, knowledge, and one evil, ignorance. All right, so yeah, they're going to be terrible against cities, so we're not going to do that. We're going to get, however, defense against range attacks. I think that would be quite nice for attacking like cities and such. So we'll range and nine damage. Jeez, super strong. But anyway, we're going to ahead and grab. Mathematics next. I would really be like this. That would help my culture so much. And clean it up. Cool. So we kind of need a luxury resource in a little bit because my cities are growing so fast. We would like spices as well. Hopefully that worker will come in a little bit. And I really want to save up my money for if I need to upgrade units and stuff. So I really don't want to spend too much money. So my archer is done. We'll have him move back in here. And I'm the player with the, the medieval era. Holy cow. Two more turns. Fingers crossed. No one's built Stonehenge though yet. I wonder if they're all like slingshotting techs, which is really weird. I just got lucky I have marble. Come on, please, 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 please. Got it. Time crumbles things. Every 
everything grows old and is forgotten under the power of time. So we get a ton more culture and we get a uh, a bunch of uh, we get an ex experience for that. So the oracle gives us one free social policy. That's really tempting, but you know what? The city's getting quite large. A library would be great, but I really want that iron before someone else takes it down there. So we're gonna get a spearman. And we're gonna queue up at the queue a settler. And we're gonna add a library and then the oracle if we get lucky. Should be quite a bit of time. I don't really need it. And I like how I'm getting stuff with great engineer points. So that's two per turn. Very, very nice. Next turn. So now an now an ally of Florence and losing grasp on Florence. And is Florence a maritime? No, it's cultured. That's tempting. So I'll have it for 10 turns before I need to do anything. And they don't really have any luxury resources. It's only fish and stuff, so. Okay, so we're gonna take this uh, worker. And we're gonna have him move to there and he's gonna start building a road to there and hopefully my economy can hold up until that trade route gets established. And I'm probably going to cut this one off around turn 100. And they've got research agreements up. How can we be doing that? Mathematics is the gate and key to the sciences. Okay, so we've got that, which I don't really need, it, need yet. Chith and Itza would be great, but currency. Yeah, we need currency. That'll be a lot of time. But I don't need anything else yet. So we're going to try to grab that. And route to the city. And that should, thanks to the pyramids, that shouldn't take too long. And do you want open borders? No, sorry, I'm not really too keen on doing that. So I want probably at least a city here, right here. So I have access to that marble. There's nothing over here, I don't I think. I'll check that out with my spearman once I get it. And I want one more city here. So I'll have those four cities. And then I'll just try to hunker down until I can get a nice size to... Nice size of everything else going. So because of the uh, little bit of hate we seem to be sharing with the Iroquois, we're going to go ahead and just keep these two guys up here. And we're actually going to send, well, I have a warrior here, and since it's the weakest unit I have, I'll keep my great general there. And my spearman will just go on alert. And next turn. Okay, so I'm noticing this. Kyoto grows in one turn. So what I'm going to do actually is not do the settler yet. I'm actually going to get one turn on the uh, library going before I do that so that I can maximize the city's potential. And nice. So that pop also gave us a little bit of help with the uh, our money because we kind of need a little bit of money. I gotta check down here, otherwise this marble might be good for a fifth city. Or I could just leave this side alone because it has no luxury resources that I want. Yeah, put a city up here. Or something like that. And I really hope that my economy holds up. I probably will go in the negative for a little bit until... Well, actually, you know what? We do this. Give me six, five gold per turn. No, okay. How about you give me five gold per turn for just my open borders? Nope. Oh, fine.
That would be a lot of gold, though. People like shiny things the most. I have the largest amount saved up. And there's fish down here. Actually, this wouldn't be a terrible location. Just a lot of sea tiles. I like this location a little bit better. Over here, might be able to... Well, no, that would be a stretch. I might. That's going to be a long road, but... And I have a policy. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm so glad I got the uh, Stonehenge. And we're past turn uh, 100. So, you know what? We might want to each city in the garrison increases empire happiness by one. That sounds great. Discipline sounds great, but I'm not at war yet. So we're going to get PD because this will help me with uh, happiness and golden age and stuff. So we want more culture, and that will help me get more policies. So we want that. And it's probably been a little bit over an hour, and I'm over 100 turns. So I'm going to cut the video off here. So hopefully I didn't have to edit this at all, and it all worked out. So thanks for watching, and God bless.